What's up guys, Drum here. Today we're going to watch House of Cards Season 2, Episode 12. We're nearing the finish line with uh, House of Cards Season 2. Uh, just real quick recap. So last episode, it ended uh, quite dramatically with a threesome between Meacham, Claire, and Frank. Uh, in my opinion, completely out of left field. Caught me off guard for sure. Um, and then there was obviously the drama surrounding Doug Stamper and him almost being fired by Frank Underwood. Uh, but Frank did indicate that he would be on his third and final strike. Uh, he gave me that ultimatum to uh, Doug. So those were a couple of the big things. Really interested to see what happens next. Uh, let's jump right into it. They didn't participate in any of our conversations. So how would they know? So you're saying you only gave religious counsel? That's how I choose to interpret it. <laughs> Wow, she's coming down hard on them. His wife have never once attended your church. They're not even the same denomination. Irrelevant. Not legally speaking. I'm certain I can convince a judge to issue a subpoena on the grounds that you weren't their legitimate spiritual advisor. Which is really? prerogative. But I can appeal. Ah, you brought it back in. Floyd Mayweather Punching was in the White House this morning. I thought he'd get a kick out of it. Did he have a go at it? He threw a combination I thought would bust the stitching loose. Well, that must have been a treat to watch. He was telling me it's not just about the power. You know, plenty of boxers are more powerful than he is. No, it's his tactics, his precision, his speed. Most important, his counterpunch. He dances and dodges and then picks the perfect moment. To oh, start. making a connection Does to Frank. Sound familiar? How That's funny. You, you gave this to me as a gesture of friendship. When I look at this now, I don't see friendship. I like the symbolism. I see calculation. You set me up, Frank. What? You're back channeling. He's connecting the dots. Special prosecutor. When I think about Raymond, about Linda, about Jim Matthews. <laughs> you are wrong, sir. Questions from Dunbar about the marriage counseling. It's a needle in the haystack. She's not trying to find. That's what you said. Well, she found out. <clears throat> I am shocked, sir. I, I like never... hell you are. You want to diminish me. Diminish you? Laying the groundwork for a challenge in 2016. The president to have to say this, sir. is figuring it out, but it may be you too really late. You think I'm so blind? I've learned your moves <laughs> now. Oh, wow. This office breeds paranoia. Don't give in to it, sir. The president's not buying the bullshit. Wouldn't make things worse. But from this moment forward, I don't want to hear your voice. I don't want to see your face. And if I do, I will put you on your goddamn back. Wow. See, the thing is, Frank can be very political, but he can play hardball, too. Exile. I've managed to isolate the president from everyone. Including myself. Holy crap, man. I honestly didn't expect that. Like, I guess in hindsight, like, you always wonder how does Frank get away with all this shit with the president? You know? I mean, Frank's basically been a puppet master this whole time pulling the strings on the president. And now all of a sudden, he's connected the dots. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what Frank decides to do. Frank. No, it's just you and me. God, they lie so well. I want to get off the phone. Will you please talk to Garrett? Goodbye, Claire. Jeez. Bunch of snakes. He's protecting them. He won't say anything. Unless they waive the privilege. They have absolutely nothing to gain by that. But we do. Like, they're so conniving and devious and... You have to meet with Tusk. One Any other synonym for evil you can think of. Let's say that what the president has accused me of <laughs> is true. Yeah, let's just say, hypothetically. Would that be so bad? If taken to its conclusion. Wouldn't you stand to benefit in the country? <laughs> I like how he's coming at it from a different angle. I don't want anything to do with this. Just one more time, Ken. You want your freedom and fortune. We want information. Mr. Fang? What do you need to know? 
Confirm for me the existence of a money laundering scheme. Oh man, is this it? Yes. We use the casino to mask foreign contributions. Wow, cat's out of the bag. Is this Doug? Now he's spying on Rachel's girlfriend. It's gotta be Doug, right? What is he up to? Oh. There's no way that's coincidental. Having trouble starting it? Yeah, I think the battery might be dead. They never it's met okay, before. Try and jump it. You sure you don't mind? I don't know. All right, it's really nice of you. Pop your head, I'll bring my car around. Sure. What the hell? Hey, hey this is Peter. He's the guy who drove me back. Oh. Where do you want these? Oh. What is his, what is his angle here? Rachel, right? Yeah. Missy said you two are roommates. Can I get you something? A glass of water? No, thanks. I should really get going. Right. I can't thank you enough. My pleasure. Good luck with the car. Thanks. I hope it's only a dead battery. Have a good night. Was that just like an Missy indirect threat? What? Peter. She needs to be gone. Oh boy. You told me she could stay. I changed my mind. Yeah. You said you didn't care if she was here, darling. I don't need to explain myself. But then he saw you having sex with her, and now he's jealous, and now she needs to we go. can't stand it, can you? <laughs> it's not just hers, it's all of ours. Trying to turn <laughs> Megan against her. ...is brave enough to say it, any other is a coward. Mrs. Underwood was brave enough to go on national television and admit that yeah, she... And where has she been since then? Deflecting scandal and hiding from the press. You called me disgraceful in the New York Times, Megan, and you... She always keeps her cool. But I also have the right. We're deeply sorry for the way we've treated you, and we want to rebuild the trust we've lost. Do you think that's possible? See? The problem with having no emotion, you never know when they're full of shit and when they're being sincere. I don't even know. Feels cornered like we have no I got a thing for Patricia. I'm not gonna lie. What about the medication? I oh, know. I shouldn't be sharing. This. I gotta thank her. We don't have to talk about it. You should go. I'm more worried about Garrett. You've made a powerful. Are they about to get intimate without Meacham? Than they are. And he's still the president. Wait, have you mentioned it? The medication? <laughs> Whoops. Claire? I'm sorry, but she's the only person I can talk to who really understands what it's like. All the like. more reason we have to waive the privilege. You're thinking about where we are instead of where we're headed. Now that isn't the Catherine Durant that I waltzed with at the Jefferson Ball. She understood potential. He's so manipulative. She had her eyes toward the future. I told that Catherine Durant that we needed her in the State Department. We still need her. How is this relevant? I'm trying to assess whether his judgment may have been impaired. In my opinion, he and his wife were dealing with standard marital issues. That's not what I asked Dr. Larkin. So I will medication. ask and let me be more specific. Was any medication prescribed or taken as a result of your counseling session by the President of the United States? His faculties were operating at 100%, if that's what you're asking. Has anyone from the administration spoken to you? Beating around the bush. What do you mean? About this deposition, has anyone approached you, coached you? If you tell me now, I will qualify that as a timely declaration. I'd like to leave. The president waived his privilege. Did you ever use these contributions to bargain for political favors? My client exercises his right to plead the Fifth Amendment. What was your relationship with Daniel Lanigan? My client exercises his right to plead the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, huh? Everything's been so fast. Oh, she's breaking it off because of Doug. I know it's hard to explain, but I'm not ready for this. That's and bullshit. No, it's not. I'm still trying to figure out this new life, and this is too confusing. This is the only thing that's clear, and you know it. You're afraid, but it's good to be afraid when you're scared. I need you to leave, okay? For your own good. I am just going to hurt you. I have thicker skin than you can even imagine. Please don't make this harder than it has to be. Uh, Everything was fine yesterday. It's so sudden. It's like it's coming out of nowhere. Well, it's not. 
His reverence for the Constitution and the laws of this country are surpassed by He knows that the president's have been grave has already been dug. But even strong marriages face challenges. So he can say every, everything like respectful about the president? It doesn't matter. It's too late. Too little, too late. But that's what we need to avoid. <laughs> want impeachment. Oh what my god. Jackie. Help us finish it. That's a yes. That is absolutely a yes. All right, guys. So that was House of Card, um, season two, episode twelve. Uh, another pretty solid episode. Um, it looks like the president has one foot out the door. Frank's always one step ahead. Um, starting with the ending, he's basically trying to get Jackie to whip the votes to get the president impeached. And um, it's it's funny how Frank spins it. Like, yes, obviously he's going to benefit the most because he's going to be the pr next president. And then he's also trying to convince Jackie um, and then uh, who's the other lady, uh, Kathy, um, to back him up as well. So Frank is very manipulative in, in that way. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the finale here. I think there's going to be uh, going to be some fireworks for sure. Um, in terms of some of the other things that happen, so I'm very fascinated with the Doug Stamper storyline. Um, I really don't know what Doug's angle is when it comes to Rachel. Um, again, last episode we thought, or in a couple episodes ago, we thought that he was really making progress. You know, he was getting his, uh, you know, he was basically getting back into Frank's good graces and he deleted Rachel's number and everything was good, but then... He saw uh, Rachel and her lover having sex, and then all of a sudden these feelings came back and frustration came back. And then he met with Rachel's girlfriend in the parking lot and obviously sabotaged her car and made friendly with her to jumpstart a car or whatever. And then uh, took her back to her apartment. And he saw that indirect threat, was, which was very sneaky of Doug to do, said, oh, I hope it's only a battery. That's what he said to Rachel, basically implying like, hey, you keep this girl around bad things are going to happen and that's kind of what convinced rachel put her over the edge to just cut ties with her completely and you saw how difficult it was for her to uh, break it off like as she was telling her to leave she was basically in tears crying so it's um it's unfortunate i don't what is doug gonna do so let's say hypothetically rachel stays alone like is he just gonna come visit her and i really don't know so i'm i'm, I'm really intrigued by that storyline uh doug and rachel storyline um, other thing is, uh, Frank just playing both sides of the fence, you know, he's pretending to be completely supportive of the president, uh, supportive of the president. And I think it's only because he just wants to show that he's a very respectful, you know, person and, uh, you know, he has hard no hard feelings towards the president, but I think it's only because the president has already dug his own grave, uh, obviously with Frank's help. And Frank knows that he's going to get impeached. So he just wants to, he's basically setting up a, a good identity for when he takes over as president, which I'm assuming is going to happen. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it from this episode. Again, another solid episode. And I'm looking forward to the season two finale. So again, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, sub subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.